Hi, in this section, we will be exploring dask bags. The first topic in this section is introduction to dask bags. We will be going over the following topics in this video. First, we will discuss what are dask bags, then we will go over the features of dask bags, and finally, we will discuss some use cases for dask bags. So, let's get started. First, we must understand what exactly are dask bags. Dask bags are simply a parallel collection of Python objects. They are basically used when we have to deal with semi structured or unstructured data. So, Dask data frame were an example in which we were dealing with structured data. But suppose if the data does not adhere to any structure, then we can simply use Dask bags over them. So, think of like Dask arrays as parallel arrays or numpy arrays, parallel numpy arrays, dask data frames are parallel version of data frames or structured data. So, dask bags uh, is nothing but a parallel collection of any generic python object. So, any python object you can just put it into dask file. So, they are similar to sets but uh, they can have multiple repeating elements and do not guarantee any order among elements. The most closest thing in functionality that comes to dask bags are PySpark RDDs. So, PySpark RDDs are resilient distributed data sets. So, if you are familiar with PySpark RDDs, then the API for dask bag would also be more similar. If you haven't used PySpark RDDs before, don't worry, we'll go over dask bags in details in the subsequent videos. Now, let's move on to the features of dask bags. Like other dask collections, we can easily parallelize dask bags or even scale them over a cluster of machines. Also, you can use dask bags to access larger than memory data easily using lazy evaluation. Dask bags also use dask.multiprocessing for computation which allows it to bypass the global interpreter lock while performing computation. Also, these are optimized to ensure small memory footprint even when performing computation on large data sets. So, these features are pretty much common with the features of dask arrays and dask data frames which we have discussed in the previous sections. Now, let's discuss some use cases for dask bags. Like I mentioned previously, we can just provide a collection of any python object and pass it to dask bags. So, examples include JSON data, text file, log files or any data which do not have any sort of structure or even a semi-structure data. We can also convert dask bags to dask data frames, dask arrays for interoperability. Sometimes like uh, what you can do is suppose if you have semi-structured or unstructured data, you can just clean it using dask bags and give it some structure and pass it to dask data frames or dask arrays for manipulation. They are best suited for cleaning and pre-processing of unstructured or semi-structured data. So, a quick recap of what we have learned. Dask bags allows us to store parallel collections of Python object. They are generally used to process semi-structured or unstructured data. For reference, you can refer these links for more information.